Morning everyone. Uh, today is going to be a really good day. It's going to be in the mid, mid or upper 60s. Um, sun's supposed to be shining all day. And we have 18 lines to do today, but they're all real close together, so it's going to go quick. So we will see you at the next yard. Okay, we are at our first yard for the day, and uh, we didn't have to travel very far for this one. It's kind of like right across the street from my house, so uh, we'll get after this one, and uh, we'll give you something to look at.
backyard. The sidewalks over here, I've been working at for a while. Uh, probably about, this would be a third cut there. I finally got all the grass worked back off the sidewalk there. On my stick edger down through there, now it would be a lot faster. Okay, there you go, there's our first yard for the day. We'll see you at the next yard. Okay, there was one thing, I, another thing I wanted to show you. We just got done with this yard, and it's our third huge yard with uh, wet grass. And the problem we're having, because of the wet grass, we're constantly getting off decks. And this is, this is the first deck, or deck from the first mower. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this one's not as bad. The other one was just completely caked right full. And I don't know of any way to prevent any of this because it's just a constant battle with these, uh, with the wet grass. So what I do is I have this hook. Uh, it's for gardening or tilling something up or whatever, but it works really, really good for me. In these decks out. I used to do it with a putty knife. The problem with a putty knife is you're kind of hard to get as much out as fast as this comes out. You know, this doesn't get it perfectly clean, but it's pretty good. right up in there and I just put everything on a blue tarp and a half a trash can in the back of my trailer and I just empty out the tarp in the trailer or uh, empty out the blue tarp into the trash can and I get get to the place where I dump dump a can about perfect I just would need it to be cleaned out enough where it's not plugging up and causing problems. That's the way I do it. 
and it seems to work really well for me so that's the way I'm gonna keep on doing it just because it saves me a bunch of time so we will see you at the next yard this is what happens when you this is the place where I dump this is what happens when people dump out their old pumpkins you get pushed up into a pile Then we get pumpkins. Pretty good size one here, nice and green. I don't know if you can see that or not. Where's the other one? Oh, there's another one. All kinds of them up in here. This right here is pretty good size though. It's really good size. I think it's kind of funny because it's just, it's just a waste pile. Something grew out of the waste pile. Okay, we are done for the evening. Uh, with about a half hour of daylight left to spare. The lawns are just not drying out anymore. Um, humidity is wasn't too bad today. It was, what was the temperature today? 69 degrees is what it reached up to today. But, Lawns are wet in the morning from the dew and they're staying wet through the whole day. So it's, it's it's not working out too bad. I changed blades around, finally got a set of blades. I think that's going to work out for, for what we're doing. And hopefully we won't have anything to plug it up as much as we have been. But other than that, um, everybody have a good evening and I will talk to you tomorrow.